So the other lesson of chapter 19 deals with finding the circumference of a circle. So the circumference is the distance around the edge of a circle. It's a circle's perimeter. It's just circles are special, so they get special words. You will see pi. You will see both the pi symbol and 3.14 used for pi. I will tell you right now, on your calculators, you must use 3.14. If you use the pi button, because your calculator will be using more digits of pi, your answer and my answer may not match. Because the directions will tell you very clearly to use 3.14 for pi, if you use the pi button on your calculator, your answer will be marked wrong because it won't exactly match mine. So keep that in mind. Radius and diameter we have talked about before as parts of circles. A radius is the distance from the center to the edge, and the diameter is the distance from edge to edge passing through the center. For a formula, the first bit is just a reminder that the diameter is two times as long as the radius, and the radius is the diameter divided by two. In terms of a formula for finding the circumference, we have two. But they're the same thing. 2 times pi times the radius, or pi times the diameter. This is because multiplication is um, communicative, not communicative, um, commutative, get the right word out, which means I can do it in any order, so I don't have to do 2 times pi times r, I can do 2 times r times pi, and 2 times r is d. Basically, depending on if you're given a diameter or a circumference, or sorry, a radius, that'll tell you which formula you want to use. You will be asked to estimate circumference on the chapter test, and I'm going to modify the directions for the book and make you do some estimating as well. To estimate, instead of using 3.14 for pi, we're just going to use 3. Okay, so estimation, use 3, find, use 3.14. So here are some examples. Estimate and find the circumference to the nearest foot. So we have a circle. That segment goes edge to edge, passing through the center, so that is a diameter. So I'm going to use C equals pi D. And here D is 112 feet. So to estimate, I'm going to do the diameter times 3. And yes, you are allowed to use calculator, not that I can really stop you being at home, but 112 times 3 is 336 feet. Okay, find it. So now we're going to do the diameter times 3.14. And yeah, I do expect you to use a calculator for this. I'm using mine. When we do this, we get 351.68. But please, please, please make sure you're reading the directions. We are to be finding the circumference to the nearest whole foot. So look at the first number after the decimal point, which is a 6. Does a 6 tell you to keep the 1 or bump the 1 up to a 2? And it tells us to bump the 1 up to a 2. So for us, we will say 352 feet for finding it. That's all there really is here, guys. It's not meant to be terribly difficult. Now, let me clear that so I can move my screen up here. Now, here, they don't give me the circle. They just tell me straight up the radius is 3.5 feet. So we can use C equals 2 pi r. Equals 2 pi r. Okay. So for estimating, that's going to be 2 times 3 times 3.5. Remember, when we're estimating, we're going to use 3 for pi. So this really isn't that bad. Again, calculator, 2 times 3 times 3.5. 
That is 21 feet. When we find it, that's going to be 2 times 3.14 times 3.5. which we'll grab our calculator to do the heavy lifting for us. That gets us 21.98. And remember, we're rounding to the nearest foot. So having a nine right after the decimal point tells me to bump the one up. So this will be 22 feet. Okay. So finding circumference, estimating circumference, not too bad. The circumference of a hoop is 141.3 centimeters. Find its diameter. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm going to be using the C equals pi D formula because I'm asked about the diameter. It's just, I don't know diameter this time. I know circumference. Circumference is 141.3. Pi is 3.14, and I don't know D. Fill in what you know, or what you can replace in terms of the pi symbol, make that the number. And when you look at this, this is a one-step equation like we did way back in chapter 11. 3.14 is multiplied to d, so in order to separate it, we will have to divide both sides of this equation by 3.14. Again, yes, I'm expecting you're using a calculator to do the division. We will get 45 centimeters is equal to D.